Hello everyone, this is Jimmy, and welcome to episode 4 of Q-Tech. There are a couple things I would like to accomplish in this video. First of all, I'd like to make a digital miner. It doesn't look that bad, with the exception of the fact that it takes uh, some of this power stuff that I'm very unfamiliar with. Um, but besides that, like we can make everything else. So uh, yeah, I would like to make a digital miner to collect ores. And the other thing I would like to make is a storage scanner. The one we're very familiar with from RF Tools that lets us look at our, you know, all of our items as one linked inventory and as a functional crafting table in it. So if we could get these two things done today, I would be very happy. Perhaps the storage scanner is the easier place to start. Let's actually start there. Um, yeah, the only thing here I think we don't have yet is two ender pearls so the next time night time comes i'll go enderman hunting with our uh machete machete is it enchanted yet it isn't right maybe maybe let's enchant it nope i guess it's not enchantable oh no i don't have lapis hold on nope not enchantable i guess that's uh weird i did make a new hammer unfortunately i made it before i saw your comments that mixing materials actually increases the synergy value so synergy is almost floored at 100, and a higher bonus, you know, higher value is better. So I, uh, I don't get to, um, yeah, I don't get to take that. I guess I'll just take a breaking one on it. Whatever. There we go. All right. Anyways, uh, let's. I'll I'll work on crafting the you know machine frame and all this while I wait for nighttime to come, and then we can go look for our enderman. It's already getting close to the night. Well, nighttime has fallen. I'm still in the process of crafting some of these alloys here, but let's uh, put that off for later as I go hunt for Enderman. I found it easiest to look in the desert in the early game because there's just the least stuff visually in the way. Um, thankfully, there's a desert right here, so let's see if I can get some Enderman or Ender Pearls. I think I need two for the uh, I need two Ender Pearls for the storage scanner. I don't see any bobs on my map. What are they? They're the red dots. Unfortunately, I don't think this version of the mini map mod can. Uh, you can. You can't have it display the actual mob type on the dot. You can just have it display a dot. That's a spider. Found one. He has a lot of skeletons defending him. Well, his weapon is also really slow. Stop! Get out of my way! You're gonna kill it. Okay. Good. Well, I killed it, but I didn't get any ender pearls. Unlucky. You're gonna drop two ender pearls this time. Unlucky. Third time's a charm, they say. Please don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me. Monkey well, dropped the block he was holding. Where's the other one now? Ow. Yeah, fight among yourselves, guys. Let me kill the other man instead. Well, we got one pearl. All right. I have another four or five hours of darkness left. Let's see if I can get a second ender pearl this night. Ah, another two endermen. If I, if I crit, do I one-shot them? No, I don't. There we go. There's a second ender pearl. And a third, just for good measure. All right, good. Now uh, let's head back and put the... Oh, who shot the... Who shot the, uh, the rabbit? Alright, well, uh, let's go back and turn these into a storage scanner, shall we? As I just slept here, I saw, hey, we have a wandering trader in our base. Let's, uh, kill the, kill all the burning zombies, and especially the non-burning zombies, and see if we can keep him alive enough to check his trades. We don't have any emerald to trade with him, so I don't think we can actually get anything from him. But I know these wandering traders are a new, uh, a new Minecraft mechanic. Out of fish. All right, uh, you're dismissed. Oh no, a creeper blew up, and he did hit all of my chests. All right, I gotta get this creeper before he blows up all my items that are now on the ground because the chest got blown up uh did they get the they got the crafting table too no please have 
I don't even have room in my inventory. Okay, hold on. I gotta make a new crafting table so I can make new chests and stuff. Dang it. I hate creepers. I hate creepers. So I have good news and bad news. Good news is everything is in a chest. Bad news is any semblance of organization I once had is long gone. Uh, perhaps worse news is I can't find my dirt anymore. Oh, there it is. I was to say, so I'm about to cover the hole up with cobblestone. But no, I found the dirt, so now we at least I mean, I can cover most of it with dirt. Alright, the rest of it is covered with cobblestone. It's a mark of our failure. Um, yeah, and now all our items are like scattered between the chests. There was some organization, not anymore. So uh, I'm going to need that storage scanner. I'm going to go insane trying to find things. Also, can you leave? You're really loud. Please? No? Can you leave? I know these guys get mad at you if you kill their traitor, too. They like, spit at you. Ha! Leads and leather. Word. After way too much chest searching, here's a storage scanner. Huzzah. Alright, um, I guess we'll put it in place of our ominous banner. We'll move our banner. This is like a tribute to them, right? So that they don't come kill me again. So, uh, there. Th there's our tribute. Alright, I assume this works the same as before. Uh, set range up and then pick the item or pick the storage chest uh for double chest you only want to mark with one you know you only want to put a star on one of each chest otherwise your items will show up double obviously that's not good all right cool so now uh all our inventories let's see we can hide this and all our items store up here S show up here you can put stuff in here away in here and then if we take any items they just show up in our inventory can I sort you the other way by chance? I want most items on top. I suspect that's possible. Ah, oh, here we go. Aha! What else can I sort by? Mod, tag, name, map. Okay. Um, apparently our most numerous item is lapis at 150. Good to know. All right. Well, anyways, uh, having this will make the entire crafting process a lot easier. Especially now that my chests are no longer sorted. Moving on with the advancements. To get to a digital miner, we need a dielectric casing from power and i'm going to go out on a limb here and assume that the power mod is mostly about making power that is power so uh, how do i make a dielectric casing refined iron oh boy ah we're gonna need a couple more machines huh biofuel you say this is in a mechanism crusher you put, I think, just about any living thing. Okay, so uh, do I have a crusher? That's the wrong crusher. I do have a crusher, but not from the right mod. Alright, so we need a mechanism crusher. That's a shame. We've apparently lost the feature where if you hover over these buttons, it tells you what exactly is missing. Like, I know I don't have a steel casing or lava buckets in here, but I was doing this to check to see, you know, do I have my basic control circuits? Turns out I do. But the, uh, the storage scanner no longer directly tells you that. That makes it much more difficult to tell what you have, you know, what steps are missing to craft something. Oh well. Uh, in this case, I, I happen to know. Now, of course, I no longer know. Uh, that's gonna make crafting a little bit slower than I was hoping. Right? It's like, what's missing? I think I have steel, so it's probably silicon. Also, it apparently doesn't seem to be able to automatically swap out one ingot for another. I thought that it could do so as long as you had the swapped out material in your inventory before. Although maybe that's just my memory being bad. Anyways, I think at this point... Oh no, I saw you the, the blob. I have no buckets. I think, didn't this search also use the sync with JEI? Why are we losing features when we upgrade versions? Should we be gaining features? All right, there's a surface lava pool there. There's a closer one here. I'll uh, just go get a couple buckets of lava. With any luck, we can get one crusher. Aha! So yeah, it's still able to pull items directly out of storage and your inventory to do the craft, which is nice. Then, because the basic machines are painfully slow, let's ah now to the you know what am I missing? Probably the plank. Yep, I just have the wrong planks. Anyways, uh, the basic machine is incredibly slow, so let's see about upgrading it to 
rate uh, to the factory versions, which are faster. Basic will have to do. As for input, I sheared a whole bunch of trees, got some leaves, and I think if I just put them in here, put them in here, oh, uh, I guess it's different types of leaves, huh? Jungle, jungle, there we go. That'll crush them into biofuel. Now, this can also be burned in a biofuel generator. So, or just a bio generator. It doesn't say how much energy it produces. If you have an automated way of producing biofuel, it makes for a halfway decent generator, if I recall. But uh, for now, wind power is sufficient. Um, but now we can use this biofuel as our input in the metallurgic infuser. And we were infusing it to do what again? To make this dielectric paste, right? Yeah. So we infuse silicon wafers with a piece of biofuel each. All right. Each individual process is still a little slow for my taste, but thankfully the advanced factory does five at a time. Mechanism does have speed upgrades and energy upgrades that can make it either more energy efficient uh, set you back to FEA tech. Um, so that can make this process either more energy efficient, faster, or some mix of both. Uh, I think pretty soon we can start making those. It's just, I don't have, I'm very low on like metal type resources, so it uses osmium, and I have not a particularly huge amount of osmium. But once we get the digital miner up and running, that problem should get taken care of. Um, apparently, it takes two pieces of biofuel per. Oh, biofuel only gives five per, I see. Most inputs give 10 when you put it in the purple slots, but apparently biofuel is only 5. Also, the crusher is extremely loud. One dielectric casing coming right up. No? Oh, I have the wrong type of iron. So this is just iron and sand in a silence alloy smelter. In my defense, this and this look, I mean, come on, they're like the same icon, right? gonna use a material that is not technically iron. Don't, don't make it not technically look like iron. Or at least not exactly the same as iron. Um, this is also all the iron I have, so I'm not gonna make too much at once. I'm gonna break from my usual trend of, you know, if I need to make an ingot, I may as well make a stat, because I'll use the other 63 later. Well, I would love to do that, but I don't have nearly enough iron. This time, we'll get the casing. So I assume this is just like a machine frame for this mod that uh, appears to more or less be the case. All right, but that completes a quest that leads into the digital miner. Now I need to figure out how to turn that casing into, uh, what part was it? An ender core. So for this, I need a energizing orb and a bunch of energizing rods by the looks of it. Never used this mod or any of its mechanics before so let's uh i mean let's try it i need my third ender pearl here so i guess good thing i got a third one that one night out um and all right i'm just gonna do some crafting to at least make these components make an energizer and i guess we'll start with the starter energizing rod when learning about our new mods mechanics i always like to check for an in-game documentation book power here seems to have one and it looks like it's a uh, pretty good documentation so the energizing warp it says used to energize items requires at least one rod in range yada 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 the tier of the rod determines speed the orb does not require energy but the rods do and they connect automatically all right so i guess i can let just start here now do i see so rods connect like that to a power source and if i place an orb here i assume they're linked and then I just have to right click items into the orb. One, two, three, and go. Haha! -ha. So I only have a starter rod, which is 10 a tick, and this uses uh, 50,000 FE. So at 10 a tick, that's 5,000 ticks, 250 seconds, or about four minutes. Ah, I took one item out, and I, that, I guess, resets the progress, right? Yeah. Um, so this is going to take four minutes. Uh, I guess I could make, let's see, in that time, let's see about making better rods. I also want to sleep through the night. In general, it looks to me like it's more worthwhile to upgrade your rod than it is to build additional ones. So it takes five starter rods to equal one basic rod, and this trend seems to approximately continue. Uh, two and a half 
basic rod for one hardened rod. Um, again, two end change hardened for blazing. And um, yeah, look, I mean, look at it. it it doesn't look unreasonably difficult to upgrade these tiers, uh, but I haven't exactly looked at what these crystals entail. Anyways, to make the basic one, I need a block of quartz, that's easy. And I already made my capacitor, so I just need another dielectric casing, for which I am currently in the process of crafting my refined iron for. The upgrade from the basic or the starter to the basic rod does consume the starter rod. So we're like just over halfway completed, but I think if I remove this, that progress stays, right? Yeah, because that's in a different block. Then I can upgrade this, put you back, and you should just pick up where you left off. There we go. You pick up where you left off. Uh, I don't know why your stored energy is so low. Why are you not receiving power? This thing has power. It can output up to 5,000 a tick. And I know it's outputting power because all these machines are receiving it. But why are you on Like this, you, you see here, right? It's only receiving like a small burst of power every couple of seconds. Um, for what it's worth, this craft is done now, so it's no longer lazing. But I'll have to look more into that later when I'm crafting with this more. Maybe it's just a limitation of how this is supposed to work. All right. Anyways, now that I have that, I think I can make our, uh, well, with a little bit of crafting, I can make our digital miner. Of course, it couldn't be that easy. I need a second one of these tender cores, and I literally just slept through the night, as you saw. So uh, we're going to have to wait till the next night to go Enderman hunting again. But in the meantime, I'll try to craft everything else. Well, I ran out of iron, so uh, nothing to do for that but to mine for more. But once again, back to the mines. I need blue rocks. Let's see how many we get. Vein of four, four. Well, unlucky. All right, I spent the day mining. Didn't get that much iron ore, but hey, 36 is better than nothing. It's probably enough to get me to a digital miner. Now let's go home because it's almost nighttime, and then we can spend the night hunting Enderman. Perfect. I'll uh, get this ore processing started. So... It, the enriching factory, right? Yeah, that turns it into dust. Once again, out in the featureless sands here looking for Enderman. I meant to ride my horse out this time because both it'll give me more speed and a higher vantage point, but I kind of forgot and I'm afraid to turn around at night because if I go back at night I might uh, just set off another creeper at my base. Which I guess reminds me that I should make my you know, build some form of walls or something to defend my base against creepers. Because, while it sucks to get your chest blown up, it'll suck way more to get your real machines blown up, right? So, uh, yeah, I kinda, I kinda should do something about that. Look, an Enderman. But, uh, I'll do it later. Oh my gosh. It's a swarm of midgets. What is this? Ah, oh, there's so many of them. That was, those are mechanism pants, I think? Oh, they broke something. Yeah, those are mechanism pants. They're pretty good, except they have, you know, no durability left. They also broke my chest piece, so I'm going to need a new one of those pretty soon. But this is what we're here for. Z and Dan, give a pearl to There we go. Um, since I'm out here at night, I may as well spend the rest of the night looking for more ender pearls. I know, Ender Pearls are never going to go to waste this early in the game. Let's test something too. I know in this version of Minecraft, uh, alright, well that confirms it. Uh, TNT, when it blows up, drops every block that go that it destroys. I was wondering if Creepers did the same, but no, it appears they do not. If they did, this, this would make a halfway decent sand collection system, but from each explosion they drop like 20 pieces of sand. Which, I mean, it's not nothing, but it's definitely not 100% of the sand they blow up. Give me your pearls. Nope. What's this in the distance? That's one of those, it's a vanilla shipwreck, right? I think if I look in there, I can get like a map to a sunken treasure. Uh, probably not worth actually doing, but 
Maybe at some point, if I'm not being accosted by mobs, I'll come back for it. Like a, another village in the distance. Well, the rest of the night was pretty non-fruitful. Uh, do babies not burn anymore? Uh... Or do husks just not burn at all? Anyways, um, I eventually tried to get some cows. I killed a fair number of cows, but also only got three leather out of it. Because I found I saw my levels are going up, and I kind of want to use them before I die this time. So I need more bookshelves. But in any event, let's head back home. I came back and our enriching factory was still making noise. And I was like, geez, how slow is the thing? Turns out it's done. It's just stuck on, apparently. Uh, oh well. I'm sure Relog will fix that. Anyways, once I make a couple more refined iron ingots, I think we can make our second ender core. Also, for now, I'm making the dusts in the crusher and then cooking the dust into an ingot in a blast furnace. However, that uses coal. And there are no great ways to turn the dust into ingots otherwise. Only a blast furnace. I mean, I guess a silence electric furnace can do it too. But um, pretty soon, I think we can invest in better ore processing. So if I take... Iron ore, for instance, and process it through a purification chamber with oxygen, we can get iron clumps, then put that through a mechanism crusher, and the dirty ingots can directly be smelted in a, uh, or the dirty dust can directly be smelted in a energi mechanism energized smelter. You can also put it through an enrichment chamber to get clean dust, but then after that, like, the clean dust is actually harder to smelt than the dirty dust. So I uh, would not recommend. Anyways, this should be our casing. Nope. Now what am I missing? Probably rods of some sort. Well, it's cute that they have two types of rods. They're also functionally identical. So it's just like an extra crafting step to make sure you have both the vertical and horizontal rods. It's not the biggest of, you know, issues. It's just extra micro crafting for very little benefit. So, I have a theory regarding the charge rate of those uh, those laser beams. This, this machine, the basic energizing rod, if we look at its stats here, it has 50 FE a tick input. I think the reason why I saw the energy in it climbing slowly was that that actually was 50 FE a tick, and the UI just only updates like once a second, but maybe it's Lazing rate is faster than that. Let's try it. So if I put these items in, does its internal buffer go down? It does not. Oh wait, it also has an output rate of 50 FE a tick, huh? Yeah. So I guess yeah, it only intakes energy as fast as it outputs energy, which um, makes the internal buffer not very useful, I guess. Well, whatever. Uh, but yeah, that that's probably why it looked like the internal buffer was climbing slowly. Because while it's running, it, the internal buffer won't build at all because it outputs every ounce of energy it inputs. Anyways, this process only takes like 50-ish seconds with a basic laser, which is nice. If I wanted more, I could upgrade it to the hardened laser, but that requires energized steel, yada yada yada. I'm gonna not do that for now. Almost done. But um, even after this is done, the digital miner has like 30,000 more crafting steps in it. All right, well, back to digital miner crafting. Uh-oh. They uh, appear to not not have... The fact that I have put up my banner is not enough. They're, they're still after me. Come on, guys. I'm on your side now. You don't, you, don't have to, you don't have to shoot me. Please? Maybe they'll stay far away if I stay away from them. All right. Hey, hey. Hello, neighbors. Nice to meet you. Don't, don't come any closer. This is private property, uh, owned, owned by yours truly, so if you could not intrude. All right, thank you. I just went to clear out my tree farm, and when I look back, they've uh, in encroached a little bit further. I think this means war. No, no mercy. I am not one of you anymore. I will not pay tribute to you. You're going to have to fight me. Yeah. Now I have the bad omen. Uh, does that ever go away? It doesn't have a time. I'm going to go ahead and not walk into the village until it goes away. Which, it'll, you know, hopefully will. If not, I guess I'm just not allowed in villages until I can deal with raids. 
Anyways, um, I have everything for the digital miner together, except, well, I would show you, but except the robot and the, or the robot. And I think I can make everything in the robot except these two energy tablets because I'm out of gold. And I'm not just out of gold ingots, I'm out of gold ore. So we're into the mines once again to find a little bit of gold. But I think once I get some gold, we're good to go. That's the last component before I can do automated mining. And I don't have to slave away in the mines anymore. I don't know if I'm just very unlucky or gold ore is just super rare, but uh finally found six gold ore. Got like one, two, three, four, four and a half stacks of redstone in the process. Um I mean I guess I think six is enough to build the digital miner because it only needs yeah, six total ingots, so that's tw uh, three ores. And once I have the digital miner, ores are much easier to get. So hopefully this is my last mining trip ever. Although maybe that's a little optimistic. We'll see. Surprising no one, I overlooked a step. Refined obsidian ingots require yet another machine, the osmium compressor, to turn refined obsidian dust into refined obsidian ingots. You can't just smelt it. All right, well, uh, this machine should be pretty easy to make should be pretty easy to make. Don't make me wrong, game. Oh, what am I missing now? Oh wait, there we go. Okay, good. Oh, night time sleep before we get creeper again. Anyways, uh, this is hopefully the last machine we need before we can uh, advance to automated mining. The osmium compressor here is basically the, it's like an infuser, except it uses a different purple item. In, th in this case, it uses osmium. Uh, apparently you get 200 per. I wasn't quite sure. Um, it used to be that each operation took one extra piece of osmium than it showed. So in JEI, it says it takes exactly 200. But, uh, okay, look, they fixed that. So yeah, I guess now it's a one-to-one -one ratio of osmium ingots to refined obsidian. Cool, so I'll make seven ingots. Please be everything I need. Aha, there's a robot. I guess I need a new steel casing, right? Because I used my previous one to make that osmium compressor. So I have just a little bit of steel left, but a little bit is all we need. A new casing and please, pretty please, pretty please. Yes, digital miner. Haha. -ha. That completes the automated mining quest. All right, now this I assume works kind of like the old digital miner did, except one thing I'm curious about. Um, ah, there we go. So, ore dictionary is gone. It's been replaced by tags. I assume ores still have a similar tag though. Let's see, do all ores have some type of, if I turn on advanced tool tips, 3H, hidden, shown. How do I, how do I get it to show tags? What tags do you have? I want to find, like, you know how before you could, in here you run it with, uh, like, or dictionary or star? I don't know, does that still work? It doesn't seem to. Um, I guess I'll do some testing to see if I can figure out what is the universal ore tag for uh, this version of, of Minecraft? I did some research and it turns out the star ores star tag selects all the ores as you can see there cycling through there. Um, I still haven't figured out how to get JEI to actually display the tags for me. In fact, the JEI config button doesn't even work. So um, I, yeah, don't know how to, how to, like if I only wanted certain tags. I don't know how, how to look up what I'm looking for. But in any event, uh, star ores star is sufficient for now. So let's let's see. I want the maximum radius, uh, which is apparently 32. And I want to go from Y level 0 to what am I on? 64. I mean, we could go even higher just in case there's higher ter terrain there. Perfect. Uh, do not want inverse mode on. So if I hit start, that says, all right, there are 7,614 mines in this area. 
to mine, and I just have to power this now, I presume. Um, let me see if I can remember which ports are power. I think the side port is power. Let's uh, plug it in. Now, I'm pretty sure that the basic cable here will not be able to supply enough power to this thing to run at full speed. Um, or just kidding, it will. How much energy does it use? 80 FE a tick, apparently. Well, it's also painfully slow at this point. So let's make the upgrades for it and see if we can make it run a little bit faster. Well, I haven't figured out how to get JI to display tags yet, someone from my Discord server has shown me that you can use the filter module from RF Tools to display the tags on any given item. Um, so I just click it in there and uh, yeah, it'll, so like if I'm curious, you know, what tags does Steak have? None, apparently. What tags does Osmium have? Um, it has the Forge Ingots tag and the Forge Ingots slash Osmium tag. Cool. Uh, I suspect at some point JAI will be updated to have this feature, or I will discover how to actually use the feature, one or the other. But for now, the uh, filter module will serve as my tag identifier. Uh, likewise, all ores... So if we get some ores here. Um, remove, have the forge ores tag. So, slash star, or star ores star matches this, right? If if we're doing, uh, you know, regex style matching. There are two upgrades that are particularly relevant here. Speed and energy. Uh, let's see, what else does it accept? Anchor? I think that makes it a uh, chunk loader. And I guess that's it. Alright, so the speed increases the speed, but it increases the energy cost uh, with basically with the square of the speed. And energy increases the energy buffer size as well as the energy efficiency. So if you have an equal number of speed and energy upgrades, you actually make the machine take an equal amount of energy per operation. Uh, this is for most machines. Some mechanism machines aren't like this. But um, it makes it take an equal amount of energy per operation, but it just makes it do operations faster. So if all you have in here are energy upgrades, it's super energy efficient. At 8, at eight FE a tick, it'll rip up an ore every second-ish. Um, but if you put the speed... Remember, it started at 80, I think, right? If you put both speed and energy upgrades in here, you see that the energy per tick goes up, but the energy... Or the power... Hold on. The energy per operation stays the same. So, I think that's all of them. At, with all the upgrades in here, it runs at 800 FE a tick and produces, I'd say, about four pieces. It digs up about four ores a second. Um, in fact, it digs them up fast enough that I'm going to need some better system to store them in. Anyways, uh, I'm going to leave this running until we use up our energy buffer, because at this point we are consuming energy faster than we're generating, right? Each one produces like 100 or 56, so together they produce a bit over 100. That's a lot less than the 800 we need to power this. So I might have to pull some of those speed upgrades out later. But for now, we do have automated mining. I do need a big chest to store them in. Hmm. What about modular storages? This is a bad and there is a tier 4 storage module available now. Um, yeah, let's try it. I had to come to the nether to get some more nether quartz and found a netherman. I uh, don't want to hit the pigment he's standing right by though. Pigment, could you could you move? Good enough. Looks like I can't make the tier 4 storage module yet because that requires dimensional shards, which I I assume there's dimensional shard ore somewhere, but I have no clue where. And the crafting re recipe requires prismarine, which I also don't have. So um, I guess a tier 3 will have to do. Let's break this storage chest. It spills items everywhere. That's fine. For now, this will hold... I assume tier 3 still holds 300 stacks. Um, I, if I had to guess, I'd say tier 4 would hold either four or 500 stacks, which is pretty juicy. Alright, anyways, we can store stuff in here, set you to this view, and uh, that'll do. Alright, this will hold our mining until we get some automated processing system set up. I've also taken half the speed upgrades out of it, so with only four speed upgrades, it's 16x base speed, 
but it only uses 20 EU a tick. Um, at 20, or that's EU, let's put you back on RF. There you go, 80 RF a tick, which is uh, pretty good. For 80 RF a tick, we get automated ores. At some point when I upgrade my energy, we can upgrade, put the rest of the speed upgrades back. Just out of curiosity, what was the speed with all of them? So it's four, it's 16. Does it double every time? 32, is it 64, 128? 128, 256? So 256x is 800. So yeah, that does mean that um, as you add more speed upgrades, it becomes slightly more or slightly less energy efficient. With only the four speed upgrades at 16x speed, it was uh, basically you get 0.2 is a ratio of speed to RF a tick. And then at 256, it's 0.32. Wait, is that, does that mean it's better? You 10x the energy. Wait, yeah, hold on. No, it's actually backwards, right? This is 800 instead of 80. So for 10x the energy cost, you get more than 10x the speed. You go from 16 to 256. That's weird. But this speed doesn't feel... You know, I'm going to do a little bit more uh, testing with this. I'm pretty sure the UI is just a lie. Let's take a rate. Take a look at the rate that ores are being mined here. It's uh, pretty close to one a second. Right? And that's at 16x speed, according to the UI. 4 out of 8 affects 16x. However, when I put this in, all four of them, and they all go in, uh, there's a block you can shift right click these into, but I think it's on the underside of it, so, like of the machine. Anyways, it goes up to 256. Uh, 256 divided by 16 is 16. So this machine should be running 16 times faster. This is not 16 times faster, and it has all the energy it needs. Um, so we're being lied to. That's, that's my conclusion. This is like about three to four times faster uh, as a result i'm just gonna once again rip out four of those speed upgrades let it run at about one a second that means this is about two hours of mining time um, and it consumes less energy than we generate now at some point i'll move our windmills up there and we'll have better power generation at which point we can easily upgrade our digital miner to use all the speed upgrades and in fact at some point we'll need significantly more ores than the digital miner can pull out and we'll upgrade to the uh rf tools builder quarry the builder you know is the ultimate quarry but it uses significantly more energy than the digital miner Alrighty, well let's end today's episode here. We accomplished the goals that uh, I set out for at the start of the day. Our stored scanner and digital miner. So uh, I call that a successful video. We'll come back next time, maybe look to upgrade our power system so we can run our digital miner faster and set up an automated system for processing all these ores into ingots. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care, bye-bye.